Wow. To think I'd be creating a YouTube channel. Action. What's up guys? So for today's video, I wanted to talk about this one course that we offer out of school and it's called um, the Angel of Death. Kind of a scary nickname for sure. The Angel of Death is kind of uh, much, don't you think? Yo, bear with me, bro. I didn't make the name. Anyway, here's my experience with it. The course is comprised of four main assignments. Each assignment builds off the last one, meaning that a2 builds off A1, A3 builds off A2, and A4 builds off A3. Which means that if you mess up, bro, you're screwed. You know, no pressure though. So this year we had to create a V card parser. Now V card is sort of like a business card where it stores your contact information. So your name, phone number, email, birthday, anniversary, all that sort of stuff. So to help us create the backend, we were given 74 pages worth of documentation about the format of a V card. And I read this fully through once and then I kept coming back to it when I needed to. Um, understanding this took so much of my time. I must have spent at least three days just trying to figure out what was going on and the structure of it because Reading this documentation wasn't easy at first, and looking back on it, I'm like, how did I not understand this? When, whenever programming, I do recommend you fully understand the structures that you're working with, which actually, let me show you the header files that we were given. So here I have the header file open on the left and a sample V card open on the right here. So we can see in the header file, that we have a structure of vcard. If you don't know what a structure is, a structure is basically just an object, for example, a car, that contains attributes of that object. For example, if we had a car, it could have attributes of uh, model number, the car color, etc. So basically, we take all the information in this test card, we want to parse that information using the format we've learned from the documentation and then put it into these structures here. What's interesting is there's structures within structures and it can get a little bit confusing at first. For example, we got in the V in the V card struct, we got a property struct to hold the FN property. We got a list of optional properties, which is going to be a list of the struct property, and then we got two daytime structs to store the birthday and anniversary information. Then if you look in the property structure, it also contains a list of parameters, which is a list of the type parameter, which is another struct that we see up here. And that contains the name and values and the property also has the name group, list of parameters and the list of values. So everything is so laced together and that's why it's really really important that you actually understand all the documentation and the format that way you're able to parse it properly so looking back at that i'm pretty sure that i explained that terribly and you guys are probably really confused about what's going on which honestly that's okay um let's talk about why this is a heavy course so after completing these first two assignments, we normally see a pretty high amount of people drop in the course. A lot of it has to do with memory management. So if you actually have a memory leak or a memory error, you will get deducted 15% of your mark. And then if you have a compiler warning, you'll get deducted another 15%. And if you have, if your program just doesn't compile, then that's an automatic zero. Say you got one memory error, you got one memory warning, and then you just got one compiler warning, there goes 45% of your mark, and you haven't even run it through the test test harness yet. So another thing is time management, and it may sound dumb, but there's a lot of programming that you have to do to make this parser. 
And if you can't manage your time accordingly, then you're just going to fall behind, which means they're not going to be able to finish all their functions. And you might not be able to pass all the test cases, obviously. So we can actually see that by the end of A3, I'd written, to, written 3,436 lines of code to parse this and do all the functionalities of assignments one, two, and three, which includes displaying all the parsed information on the website that we had to create. Speaking of assignment three, let me show you guys what we have to do for that. So A3 is where we create the front end, which is where the user will interact with the parts that we make. So I opened up my A3 website that I made. I just want to show you guys it a little bit. So this first part here, you're able to upload a vCard file of your own, and then it'll automatically parse it and then store the information. And it will display that information here. And you're going to be able to see all the valid cards that you've uploaded. Suppose that you choose a card that's invalid then while you could still upload it it will not be shown and it won't be parsed so the next part then we go a little bit more in depth and we could check out the actual properties and values and the parameters for a specific card right here we have the test card being shown and we see that there are in total 16 properties within it let's say we want to see what what parameters they have we just click show parameters and we can view them similarly we can edit the values so for example we can edit the fn property here change that we could also add a new property over here and then lastly we have to create a v card so this allows you to create a new v card on the website itself Even though I had a lot of nerves going into this course about how it's going to be, am I even going to pass? Um, I think this is a really, really good course and I learned a lot from it. And I also gained a lot of confidence in myself that I can achieve the goals I set for myself and I can excel. And I think, I think the main thing is to just give it your all and don't give up. So I just, I wanted to show that this course isn't really as bad as people say it is. It's a lot about time management and it's a lot about just keeping yourself on track because it's very easy to just tell yourself that I'll do it tomorrow or I'll get to it this weekend, but you'll, you'll be saving yourself a lot of hassle if you don't do that. I have no idea how to end a video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Does anyone else's parents just give them like a bunch of nuts and, be, and just expect them to basically turn into uh, the next four gates? True. Yo, watch this. Wow.